Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use median function using calculative field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have median price. But if I will show you the raw data then you can see here that we do not have any column over here which has median price. The columns that we have over here is category, date, quantity sold, unit price of each quantity and the last pot price but we do not have any column which specifically states that what is the median price of a day or what is the median price of a category so in this video we are going to calculate the median price of a category at an overall level so that you can get awareness that when where and how we can apply median function using calculative fields in looker and before we use this function let's understand the median function first so median is a type of aggregation function in Looker and it returns the median value from a set of numbers. The median is the middle number in a sorted either in ascending or descending order list of numbers and can be more descriptive of that data set than the average. So now let's go and create a calculative field using median in our table. So before we use this median in our table, let's understand the syntax first. So within the syntax of this median, we have this median keyword and then we have x value. So this x value can always be the numeric field. So this numeric field which I have written over here is a numeric field or expression. So while using this median function, you have to note that the parameter of median cannot be an aggregated field or the result of an aggregation function which we will discuss furthermore when we will be creating or using this median function in our table. So let's go and click on this edit button first and suppose I have a table in which I have category then we have quantity sold then average number of items sold and median price. So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to remove this median price column and this average number of items sold. Instead of average number of items sold what I'm going to select is I am going to select unit price and then I am going to change the metric as average so that we can compare the average unit price versus the median unit price of each and every category. So let me change the name of this one. So average unit price. Okay. Now what we need to do over here is that we need to add a column which basically calculates the median of these category for their prices right so there are two ways to do that first what you can do over here is that you can come over here under this setup section and click on add a metric and then you have to select a metric and for us the metric will be unit price once you have selected the metric then you can come over here here you can see that we have sum right so if you click on this pencil button and you come over here under this aggregation you will see that we have median over here if you select this and click anywhere on your report page you will see that you have a median unit price column and you just need to change the name over here or you need to add the name over here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put median price okay so this is the way you can use the aggregation function in looker or google data studio to add a column which will show you the median value of each and every category and you can see the difference over here against the average unit price and the median price. Now when we are talking about calculative field, so this calculative field help you to calculate value based on your requirement either in a graph or in a chart or in a table or even in a scorecard. So if you want to add a calculative field using median function, then you have to come to setup, click on add a metric, then you have to click on create a field. So you are creating a calculative field. That's why you have to select this create a field. Now first what you need to do is that you need to give a name. So we'll give median price. Okay. Then we have to input the formula. So as I have told you the formula for median is the median keyword and then you have to give the numeric field for that keyword within the parenthesis. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put median and once I put MEDI you'll see that Looker's IntelliSense will give you an option that whether you want to put median function and you have to select this median then and within this parenthesis you have to give the numeric field. So for us the numeric field is unit price. So once I write unit you will see that again Looker IntelliSense will give us the 
field name which is similar to this unit which is unit price and I select unit price now once I have written my formula you can see over here that looker is giving us this green signal saying that formula syntax is valid and we can go ahead so if I click on apply then you will see that we have a new column over here which says median price and these two median prices are same because we have used the same function over here but if you compare this median price with the average unit price you will see the difference right so as we have successfully applied and used this median function using calculative field you might have a question in your mind that how does this median function works so median returns the center value if x contain an odd number of values and if x contains an even number of values then median will interpolate between those two center values while using this median function you have to note that the parameter of this median function cannot be an aggregated field or result of an aggregation function so when i'm saying it cannot be an aggregated field or result of an aggregation function then what i'm saying is that suppose you have a median function and within this parenthesis you have given the numeric field now suppose what you want to do is that you want to put a sum function over here and then you want to take numeric field then it won't work because you are giving aggregated function as an input or aggregation function as an input to your median function so let's check this out so within this table what I'm going to do is that I'm going to update this median function and instead of this unit price I'm just going to put some function over here and within some function I'm going to put numeric field which is my unit price okay so as soon as I put my unit price column over here you can see that looker is saying that re-aggregation matrix is not supported so this is what I mean when I say that while using the median function you cannot use aggregated field or the result of an aggregation field so let's remove this sum from here and click on apply and you will have your calculative field with the median price so this is how you can create or apply calculative field using median function in looker or data studio happy learning and see you in the next video